Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Becca from At Home in the Sun. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Today I am back and we're going to be doing our savings challenge stuffing today. So let's go ahead and count and see how much money we are working with for our savings challenges. So we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, 360, 370, and one, two, three, four, five. So that is $375 that we're gonna be working with and stuffing today. This is my favorite kind of video, you guys. My favorite thing to film is our savings challenges. I hope you guys are excited to see the progress that we are making and thank you so much for following along um, with our debt-free journey. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Let me know what you're up to this week. If you're doing anything fun, let me know down in the comments. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with my savings challenge binder. And we are gonna be doing roll with it today. I'm so excited. That is one of my favorite challenges to do. So I do have my 10 sided dice out. So let's get started with the mom can we savings challenge. I do need to grab my Sharpie. Let me grab that real quick. So this is a really fun challenge to save up to do fun things with my three kids. So today we're gonna be adding $10 to this. So let's do a four and a six. So we did go bowling um, a couple weeks ago. That was really, really fun. Um, we actually didn't have to pay for it though because it was a friend's birthday party and she paid for like the lanes that they rented and she paid for everybody's shoes because it was uh, for his birthday. So that was a lot of fun. I'm really glad that we got to do that. And my kids had a blast, so. All right, so $10 into this one. So we are currently at 10, 20, 30, 40, oops, and 50. So $50 in the Mom Can We Savings Challenge. So that means we have 100 to go to get to 150, which is our goal for that challenge. All right, so we are gonna be doing Roll With It today. We're gonna go back to our 12 month savings challenge and June is fully funded. So we're gonna be doing the Roll With It challenge today to reallocate this $50 to one of our sinking funds. That's how we work this. And then we will come back and stuff some money into July. I'm so excited to stuff July. All right, so let's go back to roll with it. All right, so um, basically to do a roll with it challenge, you have to have some preset sinking funds um, here. So these are the ones that I chose and each one corresponds to a number. So we're gonna roll and whenever we land on, that's what that money is gonna go into. So just a fun way to add a little bit more to one of these sinking funds. So let's go ahead and roll and see what we get. All right, so we got a two. I think that's the first time we've rolled a two. All right, so two is vacation. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't think we've ever rolled a two before because I don't remember putting any of this money into a vacation. So let me grab that binder. That is perfect actually, because we are gonna be using our vacation or travel money um, very soon to go see some family out of state. So this will help a lot. All right, so there's the 40 and the 50. All right, so let's see where we are with um, travel or vacation. So we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 820, 840, 860, 880, 900, 910, 920, and 930. That's awesome. We are so close to 1,000. I definitely wanted to have at least $1,000 um, for our trip. It's gonna be like a week long trip. So um, definitely wanted to have at least 1,000 for that. Okay, that was a great start. I'm so happy that we rolled a vacation. All right, so let's go back to July. Here we are with our cute little card. Okay, so each icon is worth $10. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and $50 we save for each month. So for today, we're gonna be stuffing $30 into July. So I think I'm going to color, I usually do this, this, this. So let's do that. Let's uh, stick with what we usually do. So the starfish, the watermelon, and the sunglasses, I'm gonna color those in and then I will be right back. All 
All right, so our card is all filled in. So let's go ahead and pull our $30 to stuff July for the first time. And that one is all done. All right, so we are done with our savings challenge binder. So we're gonna move on to my 20 envelope savings challenge. Okay, so if you missed my last video, so you guys have seen this a bunch of times, I've shown you, um, I just started stuffing this um, myself. I've been selling them for a while, but I just started stuffing it in my last, I think maybe my last video or the one before, um, but, we have a little problem. It's a good problem, but there's a little problem because I made another one and I'm obsessed with it. And now I want to stuff this one, but we can only stretch the money so far. So I'm like, okay, I got to finish this one first, you know, finish what we started, right? And then I can stuff this one. So I thought I would make one with a different design for those of you who may um, not like these colors or want different colors or whatever. So I love this one so much. Um, yeah, I just want to stuff it so bad, but I'm going to control myself and I'm going to finish this one. So for today, we're going to be stuffing $80 into this, which is a really nice amount. So the way that I stuff this is um, I round up to the next five. So let's start at the back today. So we're going to be stuffing, let's see, 19 and 20 for sure. Yeah, we're going to be stuffing 19 and 20. So we're going to split up the $80. We're gonna do two 20s, so 20, 40. We're gonna do a 10, so that's 50, and then two 15s, which is 30. So let me grab that, so two 15s. All right, so this should be the 80, let me make sure. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. So there's our $80 split up in the different denominations. So. Let's go ahead and stuff um, 19 and 20. So all of our large um, envelopes will be done. All right, I have to refold this because I cannot fold it that way. I'm having trouble getting it to fit. So let me just fold it that way. And let's just fold this one like this. All right, so our, all of the large denominations are done. So um, we're gonna do two 15s, so 15 and 14, let's do that. Let's do 15 and 14 today. And this is definitely a challenge that you can do relatively quickly and it's a great for low income um, as well as high income. You can make it work for your budget, which is something that I really love about it. Okay, and we're going to do a 10. So let me go back to, let's just do 10. Hang on, I messed up over here. So for the 14 and 15, I was actually supposed to stuff 15, not 10. So here's our 15. So let me fix the other one as well. Yeah, this was supposed to be 15. Here we go. I got a little bit mixed up. So here's our 15. All right, and then our last 10, we're gonna go back to our 10 envelope, which is here, and let's stuff our last 10. All right, it's getting, it's getting bigger, it's getting bulkier, that's a great sign. All right, so this one is all stuffed, so $80 into this one, and all of this money is gonna go towards debt when it is done. All right, so we do have three challenges left. We have $1 savings challenge, coins, and our 3K challenge. I did wanna say this, save the 3K for towards the end, so let's go ahead and do this real quick, and then we'll go to our 3K before we do our coins. So we do have one, two, three, four, five ones to stuff into this challenge today. And you guys can see that five there, right? There is a five in there. I didn't have any singles during that stuffing. So I had to cheat a little bit and uh, stick a five in there. And there's also a 10 in there somewhere, but everything else is just one. So this is just a fun challenge. I've really enjoyed doing this one. We've been doing it for a year and a half. So we're just slowly stuffing stuff in here. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know that we are uh, doing this challenge to save up for an out-of-state wedding in September. Yeah, it's gonna be about $3,000 for everything. So um, I did buy our plane tickets and I knew that was gonna be the biggest expense. So I bought tickets for six people. So my family, which is five people, plus my mother-in-law, so we bought her ticket as well. So that's six tickets. 
So our total was around $1,800. So that's round trip. Um, so, you know, it was pricey. I, I was able to get the price um, down about $500 by using the airline points that I had. So that helped a lot. So all of the money that I had in the bank, I ended up using. And so we're gonna be pulling all of my placeholders today. And then we're also gonna be pulling about $500 in cash. And so that all will represent um, what we ended up spending on the plane tickets. So uh, the total of all the placeholders we're pulling, which is what was in the bank, is 1,350. And then we're also, like I said, gonna be pulling um, $500 in cash. So that's gonna be, you know, that's gonna cover um, how much we ended up spending on the plane tickets, which was around um, 1800 a little bit over. So we're gonna pull all of these out. Um, I'm not gonna clear off my tracker because I want to feel like I actually completed this challenge because, you know, we did. Like, the money has already been spent, but the challenge is not technically finished. So I'm gonna leave all of the, the cross marks on there. Um, and we're just gonna work on the blank ones, you know, continue to work on those until this challenge is done. And it's gonna feel really, really good when we have completed this challenge and saved that much money towards this trip. So I'm really excited about that. All right, so that's all of our placeholders. So that represented, like I said, that $1,350 that we did use towards um, the plane tickets. So the red marks, I'm sorry, the green marks, which is one, two, three, four, five, that's the $500 in cash that we need to pull out. And this money will be going back to the bank to be put um, on that credit card um, that we use to buy the plane tickets. So let's go ahead and pull the $500. We're just gonna pull the 100s and leave the rest in here. There's 300, 400, and then one more 100. All right, here we go. All right. So there's our 500 going back to the bank. All right, so now that we've pulled everything out of this challenge, um, we are gonna be stuffing some more money into it. So we're gonna be stuffing $250 today. So um, we're gonna do that with two 100s and a 50. So here's a 50 and then 100 and 100. So those 100s are towards the back. I did pull, um, you know, some 100s for, from the front, but um, I didn't like clear those off. So it really doesn't matter like which 100 envelope that I end up stuffing, but I'll try to like keep it straight. So let's go to the back and, and find those 100s. But like I said, it doesn't really matter as long as we, you know, are keeping it tracked properly on our tracker. All right, so here's, I can't get this open. All right, here's the 100 right here. And let's find the other 100, here it is. And then a 50. So we're working backwards, here's a 50. All right, so that's $250 we have stuffed into here. So let's see um, where we are. So let's see, most of these are 50s. Okay, so we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 dollars left until this challenge is completed. That is amazing. I am so happy. And you know, like I said, a lot of this money has been spent already and I knew most of it was gonna go towards those plane tickets, but it just feels so good to have, um, you know, completed this challenge. This is actually the largest challenge that we will have completed to date, this 3K challenge. We've done several um, 1K challenges and then smaller challenges, but this is the largest one that we have undertook. So I'm gonna be really, really happy and excited when we can say that we finished this one. All right, so our very last savings challenge for today is our coins savings challenge. So let's go ahead and see what we're working with with our coins. We have a few to stuff today. And we're gonna need our Sharpie. All right, so let's go ahead and separate everything out with our pennies, uh, nickel, dimes, and our quarters. All right, so not too much to stuff today, but we do stuff coins because you can save a lot of money saving your coins, so we don't wanna neglect that. All right, so we do have three pennies today, and this tracker is filling up really fast, like we're already on the second to last line. 
one, two, three pennies. And I will be rolling all of the pennies uh, once we get to one dollar. And this is getting heavy, so definitely want to roll these and probably put them in a different location um, while we work on that tracker again. All right, so moving on to dimes. I'm sorry, nickels, moving on to nickels. So just one nickel today. So we've already saved a dollar in nickels, so we are doing good. All right, that is done, and let's move on to dimes. All right, let's see where we are. So over $2 saved in dimes. So just two dimes for today. And last but not least, our quarters. And we got 50 cents to stuff today. That one is very heavy. So let's go ahead and put these in. All right, so how are we doing here? All right, so we're 50 cents away from $12.50, so that's pretty awesome. Quarters add up so fast, so definitely, if you're not saving anything else, at least save your quarters, guys. All right, so we are all done with our coins. Thank you guys so much for spending some of your time with me today and cash stuffing with me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.